Okay, so we've talked a, a little bit briefly now that that the genetic string is what it is. We're going to talk about the A locus first. It has three different possible, and I already made a smudge all over my thing. Um, it has three different genes that can be part of the A locus, okay? Uh, we have a capital A, which is going to stand for our goody pattern. Now, goodies are generally going to be presented in your like your colors such as chestnut, chinchilla. Um, you may see it in orange, which is in a, in a goody-based uh, color. Um, cinnamons, that sort of color. Uh, they are easily recognizable by a, doing a, a fur test and determining if they have three bands of color on the hair shaft. Okay, so and I'm going to show you an example of an agouti here uh, just shortly so that you'll understand how to, to visualize that. Uh, the next gene, and this is an order of dominance, so agouti is, is going to be your most dominant gene at the A locus. Uh, the next one that is, it's, it's more dominant than ourself, but it's less dominant uh, than the agouti, is our tans. And it's, it's, it is written by AT in lowercase. And you're going to see that in otters, your silver martins, uh, colors of, of those natures. That we're going to show you an example of those and, and how we're able to, to recognize uh, a rabbit that is that is AT. And then finally we have one lowercase a which equals self. Now self rabbits are solid rabbits generally. They can be broken. Uh, but when we're talking about cells we're talking about a, one solid color in general. As, but it can be, it is also found in like sable points but we're we're basically talking right now if, if if we're just about the a locus okay we're not talking about any other modifiers up here yet uh so the self based colors are going to be black chocolate lilac and blue and uh we can modify those colors as we go down through the genetic string to produce other colors that are also self based or again we're just trying to set the pattern and in primarily on the hair shaft. Usually selfs uh, obviously are going to have a base color and they're going to have an, uh, a uh, undercoat color and then they're going to have a, a, a hair color as well. So on the ends of the hair shaft. So we're talking more along the lines of, of a solid color. There's not going to be any agouti banding. Uh, otters in the, in the tan section is going to be, uh, again, uh, have a different markings and spread of color. Uh, selfs, again, they're going to be just a little bit different versus the goodies. You can have, again, as we talked earlier, two genes that go with each locus point. And this, the A is the same as everything else. You can have up to two genes that will fit in here. That's what this little space for you. This is the, the recessive one. So when we talk about the number of combinations you can get, at A, you can have double agouti. You could have agouti with a tan, which is less dominant. Now, one thing I will note here is that if you have this combination, you're going to get an agouti rabbit. Okay? It's going to be an agouti. Uh, if you're going to have this combination, guess what? It's going to be an agouti. And the reason we know it, it will be agouti is because A is dominant, okay? Agouti is dominant over, t over the tan. This tan gene will not present in the color of the rabbit. It will remain hidden, okay? It'll be hidden in the gene set. So if, let's say, for instance, and I'll just go over here, let's say we take a chestnut and we, ver we breed it to a black otter, okay? And we're going to say, just for the purpose of this discussion, that our chestnut is AA, and our black otter is, is AT, 
AT. Each parent can only transmit one of their genes. They each have two. Okay? And this is saying we know what the gene set is. Okay? So we know that the only thing that a ch the chestnut, in this example, can transmit is a capital A. And we know the only thing that our black otter can transmit is a T. Okay? However, the dominant gene will always be the gene that represents in your rabbit. So I could breed this combination together as many times as I want based off of these, what we know. I know that every single kit, every single rabbit that these two produce, that every single one will be an agouti rabbit. Okay? We're not going to talk about the rest of the genes right now. This is an example for the A locus. So we know we're going to get agouti rabbits. No matter how many times, we could breed it a hundred times, you're going to get the same thing. You know you're going to get an agouti rabbit. The same would be true here. Whether I take, this was also an agouti rabbit. Okay, this is a, an agouti rabbit that was probably paired with a self. For instance, and I'm just going to go right here. Let's say we took a chestnut to a black. Okay. And our chestnut, maybe we're going to use the same chestnut. Now a self black contains, we know is represented by self. We also know that because A, with the lowercase a here, represents self, there's no other, uh, there's no other gene that's more dominant for, than that. So we know that our, our black is a A in lowercase. Okay? We, we know it has to be. Okay? There's no other gene over here that our black rabbit could be. Okay? Uh, therefore, we know that both genes would have to be A and A in lowercase for self. Okay? If we had a T in there over here in this second spot, then it would have been a black otter. If it was a, if the second gene was an A, it would have, well, it would have been a chestnut. Okay, so that's how we are able to know that our black rabbit is in fact a A. This one here, we have two otter genes, if you want to call it an otter or otter uh, pattern. Okay, or Martins or whatever, but tan, tan pattern. So we know that this is going to be a tan rabbit. And we also know that this is going to be a tan rabbit because AT is more dominant than A. Self. And then lastly, this would be our self. So blue rabbits, what this tells us is that blue rabbits, black rabbits, chocolate, chocolate, uh, or lilacs rather, those are all going to be very recessive traits uh, that a rabbit can possess. And then if we breed ourselves rabbits, like our blues, blacks, chocolates, and lilacs, to an agoutis, we know that the ch odds of getting a self are fairly small. Okay? Now, it is possible, however, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do an example here. <clears throat> Uh, we're going to say we have a chestnut rabbit. And we're going to say that the chestnut rabbit is AA. Okay? We know he's carrying a goody, and we know that our chestnut is also carrying self, maybe because of, of his information on we get, gathered from his pedigree. Uh, and we're going to breed this. Let's say our goal was is to produce black. Okay? And let's say I have a black rabbit okay and we know that that black is self so that it contains a and a again two genes okay this setup right here means that even that let's say we have a, a four kits and let's say uh, 
we get four kits that are A, A, and maybe uh, we get another one that's A, A, and then we get another that is, we get two others that are this, okay? And the reason we know what they are, okay, is maybe this chestnut transmitted a goody to two kits and transmitted the self to the other two. Well, the only thing that the black can transmit is, is self. Okay, well this ends up being a chestnut for these two. Because, again, a goody is more dominant, that means we create ch chestnuts. But on these two, we don't have anything strong, we don't have anything more dominant, they're both selves. That would mean we created black rabbits. Okay, the percentage chances, you can figure that, but it's not going to be based on the litter. Okay, it's just going to say that you have a 50% chance that each kit, to each kit, not the litter. So if you have four rabbits, it doesn't mean that 50% of the litter is going to be chestnuts. It's an entirely plausible that your chestnut will only transmit this self to every kit, okay? There's only a 50% chance, okay, that each kit will either be a chestnut or a black. So if I get a litter of nothing but blacks, I know that my chestnut transmitted that self gene to each and every kit, because each and every kit only has a 50% chance of, of receiving it, if that makes any sense. Okay, well, let me get some uh, rabbits out. I want to show you some examples.